welcome back today we are going to learn a new chapter and the name of this chapter is when current flows we know how important is electricity in our life we can't even imagine a life without electricity in this chapter we will learn some scientific knowledge about electricity let's begin the chapter look at this picture what are the components used here to make the bulb glow yes tot cell bulb and copper wire this arrangement is electric circuit a circuit is the path for electric current to flow from one terminal to the another terminal of the cells through a copper wire and a bulb and if the bulb glows then we can say it is a closed circuit disconnect any part of the circuit does the bulb glow no if any part of the circuit is broken then it is said to be an open circuit so the bulb doesn't glow These two circuits are example for open circuit. Both of the two circuits some points are not connected properly. So current can't flow from one terminal to the another. In such situation we can say it is an open circuit. Then what happens to a bulb when it fuses? Yes If a bulb get fused means the filament in it get burned and thus the circuit changes to open circuit from closed circuit. So we can say if the circuit is incomplete or broken the current doesn't flow through it. So it is an open circuit. And if the circuit is complete the current flows through it. It is a closed circuit. What happens when you replace bulb on this circuit with a buzzer? Yes, instead of glowing, a beep sound is produced. Like this, try to replace buzzer with a mini motor. Does it works? Definitely it works. Like this. battery Now you are familiar with three electric circuits. Can you tell what are the components needed in an electric circuit? A simple electric circuit consists of a source such as battery then a connecting wire and a load such as bulb buzzer or anything Copper wires are used to conduct electricity do all substances conduct electricity let's find out This is the arrangement of a circuit you are given many materials Using these materials we are going to complete the circuit that means in between these two nails you are going to use these materials and try to find out which are the materials that helps to conduct electricity among these materials nail steel spoon and tin sheet can conduct electric current Thus when we use these materials in this circuit they make the circuit closed and thus the bulb glows materials such as paper wood plastic wire and rubber band doesn't conduct electricity that means when these materials are used it is said to be an open circuit 
so the bulb doesn't glow based on electrical conductivity substances are classified into two substances that conduct electricity are called conductors example metals those which do not conduct electricity are called insulators example paper so students today we have just started our new chapter the more about electric current will discuss in our next class now it's your turn there is an activity for you try to find out more examples for conductors and insulators try it thank you